All right. You think you've seen it all? You think you're a monster expert because you beat God of War or watched every Alien movie? Let me let you in on a secret. Mother Nature, back in the day, was way more creative and way more insane than any game designer. Today, we're not talking about the A-listers like T-Rex or Mammoths. We're digging deep into evolution's forgotten folder of bizarre experiments. The projects that went so wrong they were right, and the ones so weird we can barely believe they were real. Get ready to experience life on Earth in hardcore mode. By the way, if you want to gain access to the most insane projects that evolution ever canceled, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to Extinct Doc because what I'm about to show you will break your brain in a way there's no coming back from. You good? Let's do this. To start, we need to go to where things got really weird really fast. The Cambrian Explosion, over 500 million years ago. Basically, for billions of years, life was a bunch of amoebas and bacteria. And then, in a geological blink of an eye, it just went nuts. It was an explosion of creativity, a festival of bizarre body plans, like evolution was testing all the mods at once. And it's in this chaos that we find our first competitors. Imagine a creature that looks like it was designed by an AI after dropping acid. That's Opabenia. When its fossil found in the famous Burgess Shale in Canada was first presented at a scientific conference, the entire audience burst out laughing they thought it was a prank. Bug spec sheet. Eyes. It didn't have two eyes. It had five on stalks. Mouth. Wasn't on its face. It was under its body facing backward. Arm. It had a trunk, a proboscis, sticking out of the front of his head that ended in a claw full of spines. It used this to grab food and bring it to its upside down mouth. Body. Looked like a pin cushion with side flaps for swimming. Opabenia was so strange, it proved that life in the Cambrian didn't follow any of the rules we knew. It was the personification of random. If Opabenia was the bug, Hallucigenia was the final boss of the Cambrian level. The name means abnormal shrimp because, as we saw, scientists found its parts and had no idea what it was but when they pieced it together, the nightmare took shape. It was Opabenia's giant, roided out cousin. Boss's spec sheet. Size, up to one meter long, an absolute Godzilla for the time. This was the undisputed top of the food chain. Weaponry, two frontal appendages full of spikes to grab victims and a round mouth full of toothy plates that work like a nutcracker to crush trilobite shells. The proof? Paleontologists have found trilobite fossils with W-shaped bite marks that perfectly match the enamelocaris's mouth. Upgrade? Compound eyes with, according to recent studies, over 16,000 lenses in each eye. For perspective, a housefly has about 4,000. It had 3D, 360-degree vision. Basically, a prehistoric combat drone. Enamelocaris was the reason evolution invented armor, spines, and the ability to bury yourself in the mud. It kicked off the first arms race in the history of life. All right, if Enamelocaris was the boss, Hallucigenia was the glitch in the system. This thing is so weird that when paleontologist Simon Conway Morris found it in the Burgess shell, he thought he was hallucinating, so he named it that, seriously. For decades, science looked at this fossil and understood nothing. It looked like a worm walking on seven pairs of spiky stilts with some floppy tentacles on its back. The first reconstruction was this bizarre thing walking on its spines. Nobody knew which end was the front, which was the back, or which way was up. It was a biological puzzle. Then, after a long time and finding better fossils in China, the experts, including researchers like Martin Smith, figured out the truth. They had assembled the creature upside down and backward. The spines were for defense on its back, probably to discourage an attack from Enamelocaris. 
and the tentacles? Those were the legs complete with little claws and the head no one could find. They discovered one of the ends, previously mistaken for the tail, had a pair of simple eyes and a mouth. Hallucigenia is proof that sometimes evolution just mashes all the buttons at once to see what happens. Science, my friends, sometimes works by trial and error. And what an error. The Cambrian explosion was a festival of weirdness. Of these first three creatures, which one do you think was the most insane so far? The five-eyed alien, the boss Anamaloparis, or the bug Hallucigenia? Drop your favorite in the comments. Shark? That's amateur hour. 360 million years ago, in the Devonian period, the oceans were dominated by a class of fish called placoderms. Basically, fish with armor. And their king was the Dunkelosteus. This thing wasn't a fish, it was an armored battle tank with a guillotine for a face. It grew up to six meters long and had its head and the front of its body covered in thick, impenetrable bone plates. And the worst part? It didn't have teeth. It had something far more terrifying. The edges of its jaws were self-sharpening bone blades. Every time it closed its mouth, the plates scraped against each other, maintaining a perfect cutting edge. Its bite force, according to biomechanical studies from the University of Chicago, was one of the most powerful of all time, with over 5,000 newtons at the tip. It could open and close its mouth in 20 milliseconds. It was a supersonic underwater bear trap. It ate sharks for breakfast. Now let's jump forward in time. 290 million years ago, in the oceans of the Permian period, there was a predator that looked like it was designed by a heavy metal artist. Meet the Helicoprion. For over a century, all we had of this thing was a fossilized tooth spiral, a perfect circular saw, and scientists had no clue where to put it. They put it on the nose, the dorsal fin, the tail. The reconstructions looked like B-movie monsters. Then came technology. Using high-resolution CT scans, a team led by Leif Tapanila from Idaho State University scanned one of the best-preserved fossils, and they finally solved the mystery. The saw wasn't on the outside. It was inside the lower jaw. How the bizarre thing worked. The Helicoprion, an ancient relative of sharks and chimeras, never shed its teeth. The new teeth pushed the old ones inward, forming this bizarre spiral that sat inside the jaw's cartilage. When it bit a squid or soft-bodied fish, the jaw would close and the saw would rotate backward, like an industrial circular saw, slicing and pulling the food in. It was a unique biological weapon. It wasn't just a shark. It was a shark with an industrial buzzsaw in its chin. Pure metal. When you think of giant claws, you think of a predator, right? Well, evolution loves a good prank. Meet the Therizinosaurus. This dinosaur looked like a mix of a giant turkey, a sloth, and wolverine. It was a theropod, the same group as T. rex, but its main feature was its claws. And what claws? Each of the three fingers on its hands had a claw up to a meter long. Yes, a meter! The largest claws of any animal that has ever existed. For years, the function of these claws was a mystery. Were they for hunting? Turns out its long neck, small head, and leaf-shaped teeth indicate something else. It was a herbivore. It was the Edward Scissorhands of the prehistoric era. The giant claws were likely used to pull down tree branches, like a giant sloth, and of course, to defend itself from predators like Tarbosaurus. Imagine a T-Rex trying to attack something that can disembowel you with a hello. If Therizinosaurus was weird, Dinochirus was its cousin that took the weirdness way too far. In 1965, in the Gobi Desert, 
Paleontologists found two gigantic arms, two and a half meters long, three huge claws, and that's it. They named it Terrible Hand. For almost 50 years, everyone's imagination ran wild. With arms like that, it had to be a super predator. The thing became a legend. Then, in 2014, a team led by Yongnam Lee from the Korea Institute of Geoscience described two new, much more complete skeletons. And the reality was way more bizarre and honestly, much funnier. Dinochirus wasn't a horror movie monster. It was the result of evolution building a dinosaur with leftover parts. It had arms of a brutal predator, a head like a duck with a long toothless beak, a giant camel-like hump on its back, legs like an ostrich, and yes, feathers. It was an 11 meter long omnivore that ate plants and fish. The claws? Probably for digging. Dinochirus is proof that when you leave evolution on random mode, the results are, at the very least, interesting. Evolution sometimes seems like an artist with leftover Lego bricks. If you could create the most bizarre creature by combining parts from three different animals, extinct or not, what would your creation be? Describe your Frankenstein monster in the comments. And finally, in first place on our list of weirdness, the creature that breaks biology. The Tully Monstrum Gregarium, or simply the Tully Monster. This 300 million year old thing found in Illinois, USA makes no sense. It had a torpedo shaped body with no yims. It had a long trunk that ended in a claw with teeth. And the eyes? The eyes weren't on the head. They were on the ends of two stalks that stuck out from the sides of its body. To this day, science has not reached a consensus on what the hell this thing is. Is it a vertebrate? A relative of lampreys? Is it a mollusk? Is it an alien that crash-landed in a swamp? The debate is serious and academic. A 2016 study led by Yale University said it was a vertebrate. A year later, a team from the University of Pennsylvania challenged it, saying it was an invertebrate. The debate continues. The Tully monster is the biggest question mark in paleontology. It is the final proof that no matter how weird we imagine the past was, reality was infinitely more bizarre. And there you have it, the lost zoo of evolution. Creatures that prove that life plays by no rules. And if you want to gain more access to these deleted and bizarre chapters from our planet's history, you know what to do. Subscribe to Extinct Doc and hit the bell because every week we unearth a new nightmare. Leave a like if you enjoyed this trip through nature's weirdness and share this video with that friend of yours who thinks Pokemon are creative. Show them what real creativity looks like. Thanks for hanging with us. See you next time.